Hey everybody, this is my 10 gallon quarantine tank and today I'm going to have to empty it out, not of water but of fish and of course that's only going to be temporary because then I'm going to refill it with more fish that I just bought on an impulse purchase. I was thinking about it this morning and I really need to get this little tiny white angel fish out of this tank. Uh, you can't even see it now because it's cowering in the corner and that's all it ever does. I don't know if it's the uh, current in the tank or if this larger angel fish is bullying it. There's the little guy. But this little one just spends a lot of its time hiding and cowering. Although I've got to say this is now making me look like a liar here because it's out and about and swimming around and looking good. Anyway, long story short, I decided this morning that I think it would be better for that angelfish to go into its forever tank. Hopefully it's forever tank unless it outgrows it. That's a different topic for a different video. And when I got to thinking about taking that one out, I'm also going to be putting these Pastella Tetra in there. That's the one with the little black and yellow stripes on their fins. Uh, they're going to go in the same tank. And one thing led to another, and on an impulse, I went to the PetSmart and decided I needed to get some new fish. And so now, I kind of need my quarantine tank available to me. So all of these fish are going to now come out of here and go into their new tanks. They've been in here for a week, and I don't see any issue with any of them. They all behave perfectly normal. They're all feeding uh, really well. There's no uh, apparent signs of ick or any kind of outward... Um, parasites or anything like that so those are my chief concerns i know there's a slight possibility that there might be some sort of internal something or other going on with one of them or whatever but the chances of that happening are pretty slim uh, over the years and years that i've been doing this with fish i've never really had anything come home and cause some outbreak in my tank that wiped out fish other than ick you know so that's always my chief concern when i bring fish home from the pet store and after all this time, if I was going to have ick breaking out in this tank, I'd be seeing it by now, and I don't. So I'm not too concerned about pulling these fish out. The uh, red and blue tetras were going to go into my waterfall tank, but I thought better about it. Uh, I think they're going to be jumpers, and the open top tank just means we'd lose them. So they are going to go in my 29 miscellaneous along with this big... Uh, smoky looking angelfish and I keep calling it a smoky angelfish that is not the type of angelfish that it is that is simply a description of what it looks like to me it's just a mixed veil it's a mutt it's no particular uh, type of angelfish it was just a five dollar angelfish out of the mixed angelfish box um, we already know where the Prostellas are going. We know where the Colombian, red, blue Colombians are going. The guppies, I think some of the blue ones are going to go in my wife's tank along with the uh, little angelfish and the Prostella, Prostella tetras. And then those green El Tigre are going to go in my waterfall tank and in my office tank. And what I got today is going to go in my waterfall tank as well. So let me go make a few arrangements, get a couple of tanks prepped, and then we will actually see some of these fish in their new homes before we see what I got here in the quarantine tank. So we're going to start here with my wife's tank, and that was what sort of started the whole idea in the first place, was to get that little angel fish out of the quarantine tank and put it in this tank. Now you can kind of make it out. It's hiding underneath of the Java fern right there. And that's the whole point. It does not have another larger angelfish in the tank to bully it around. And it's got lots of places that it can now hide and feel secure. So I took all of the Pristella tetras out of there and moved them into this tank we already had the blood fin tetras the lighter colored ones with the red fins you can see at top and i also went over to my 40 breeder in the basement that had uh, one single glow light tetra left in it and it had one single raspora het in it and so i caught both of those and the glow light tetra came into this tank so it now has a little bit of company and we're going to see in just a moment where I put the 
Rasbora Het. So there's probably going to be a little bit of jostling around. It's interesting to see the way these two skirt tetras are chasing each other. I'm not sure if the new fish in the tank would have altered the dynamics between the skirt tetras. I didn't add anything that's going to sort of alter the dynamics of that school, but it certainly seems to be a lot more activity than normal. Now, I also did a really big water change, so that could be uh, spawning behavior. I have no idea whether I have males and females or not. I'm not sure. Anyway, that'll be a topic for another video, but that is a possibility that I've got some spawning behavior here with my tetras. I've lowered the temperature by several degrees. The, um, the, ta the, the tank heater in here was really set warm. I'm not sure why, but it felt like bath water when I stuck my hand in there. So I've turned that way down and I did about a 75% water change. And as a result, that may have spurred some uh, spawning behavior. So we'll see. But anyway, that's where the little angelfish has gone. Seems to be doing well enough, swimming around, out and about. Looking forward to watching that one grow up. And, of course, the little tetras went in here, too. Uh, I also, I think I put one of the blue endlers in here, but I don't see it now. I was in such a rush running around trying to get several different tanks cleaned up and ready and fish put in them. I had fish already sitting in bags that I brought home from the store while I was doing all this stuff. And then I had to try to start catching fish out of tanks and moving them around and so on and so forth. So I kind of forgot what I put in all the different tanks. But I think I put one of those little um, blue guppies in this tank too. I just don't see it at the moment. So, all right, on to the next tank. And this is my 29 miscellaneous. And you can see right there in the center of the tank is the Raspora Het I was just talking about. That came out of my 40 breeder. And while there are no other Raspora Hets in the tank, I don't have any other Raspora Hets anywhere in the fish room. So that's just going to have to do its best where it is now. At least it's not in a big open empty tank by itself. It does have some other schooling fish nearby. So you can see the red, blue Colombian Tetras are in there. They look fantastic. My angelfish is in there it's kind of hard to spot at the moment it's laying low kind of hanging out in the back i have seen it swimming around a little bit it does look really good but i forgot that i took the heater out of this tank it had malfunctioned and when i did my water change i checked the temperature and it was only 70 degrees in the tank so i've ordered another heater it'll take a couple days to get here uh, in the meantime, this is going to be sort of a chilly tank. I don't think 70 degrees is going to be um, too low of a temperature for these fish. They've been in there for a while now without any issue, uh, without a heater in there. That is the, the current fish that have been in the tank anyway, the loaches I have on the bottom and the skirt tetras. So I don't think that the new fish I just put in there, either the Raspora Het, uh, the Columbia Red Blue Columbian Tetras or the Angelfish will have any problem adapting to 70 degrees. But that's a little bit on the low end for tropical fish. And whenever you're down at that low end of the temperature, it just makes them more susceptible to illness and any kind of problems they might have uh, get exacerbated. And so I like to keep my tank temperatures in the mid 70s, 75 to 77 degrees, maybe 78 degrees, uh, somewhere in there. I don't like to push it up to 80. I just think that's unnecessarily warm. It evaporates the water out of the tank too much. It speeds up the fish's metabolism and everything else. It's just not necessary to keep your tanks up that warm all the time unless you have a few certain specific fish that really prefer those warmer temperatures but again that's a discussion for another video not this one so that's all we're going to look at in this video i did move those guppies some went into my tank in the office but we'll see those eventually some went into my waterfall tank but we will see those eventually and i believe i put at least one of those blue guppies into this tank but again i just don't see it in there so I don't know if maybe it's hiding or maybe I didn't put one in here. So we'll have to look around and figure out exactly where all those little guppies went. So all right, everybody, there you go. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any videos I got coming up. You don't want to see the new fish I've got that are now currently in my quarantine tank or where all those are going to end up. So make sure you subscribe and you won't miss any of that or anything else I've got. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you real soon on the next one.